Welcome to Mathematics with Amps, uh, Grade 8, Lesson, Algebraic Language, Expressions and Equations. And of course, in this section, we're going to do some revision. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Okay, let's first look at the symbols we use in mathematics, or we also call them operations. The first one is a symbol plus used for add, increase, more than, plus, sum, and together. That's what it means. Right? The symbol minus, used for minus, decrease, less than, and subtracted from. The symbol multiply, used for times, product of, multiply, twice, thrice, etc. The symbol division, used for divide, Coercion, half, quarter, etc. The symbol equals to, used for equal, will be, gives, the answer is obtained, the result, etc. Now, variables are letters of the alphabet that represents a value of values, for example, x. A constant is a term in an expression or equation whose values does not change. For example, a 7, a negative 8, a half, etc. Now, terms are separated by plus and minus signs. For example, 3a plus 4b minus 8c. And a bracket is one term. For example, 3a plus 4b inside a bracket is one term. A coefficient is the sign and number in front of a variable. For example, a negative 5 is the coefficient of a negative 5 t to the power 4. Like terms contain the same letters of the alphabet and the same exponents, for example, a 2a and an 8a, a 3p squared q and a p squared q. Expressions can be monomial, binomial, trinomial, and polynomial. An expression is a mathematical sentence that does not have an equal sign. An expression can contain constants and variables. There are terms in an expression which are separated by a plus and a minus sign. Examples. Simplify 2 into 3b plus 1 plus 4. So what do we do? We first multiply 2 with 3b and 2 with 1. And then we collect the like terms. 2 plus 4 is 6. When we divide, we can divide 2 into 4b, 2 into 6, and 2 into 6b. And then we get 2b plus 3 minus 3b. Then we can collect the like terms. 2b minus 3b is negative 1b plus 3. For instance, the square root of 63d squared plus 18d squared, well, we can add 63 and 18 because they're like terms, and we get 81. And the square root of 81 is 9. Square root of d squared is d. Negative 5x into x to power 5. y squared to the power 2 cubed. Now remember here, you must follow bottom as It means brackets first. So you must first multiply 3 with a 5 of the x to give you 15. 3 with a 2 of the y to give you 6. And now only can we multiply in with minus 5x. So minus 5x times x to the power of 15 is minus x to the power of 16, y to the power of 6. An equation has two parts that are separated by an equal sign. The left side is always equivalent to the right side. Equivalent means that the left side and the right side do not look exactly the same, but they always have the same value. For instance, 4x minus 7 equals to 5. So 4x minus 7 on its own is an expression, or algebraic expression. And then 4x, negative 7 and 5 are the terms. Right. This, and of course, if you look at the, the little scale there, an equation is like a scale. It must always balance. When solving equations, the following should be considered. You must always consider bottom mess, that is the order of operation. Remember, B means bracket, O means other, like square, square roots. D means division, 
M means multiplication, A means addition, and S means subtraction. If there are any brackets, multiply them out first. If there are any fractions, get rid of the denominators first. Both sides of the equations must balance. Let's look at the following examples. Solve for x. 2x plus 3 equals to 19. Now we can apply the method of additive inverses. For instance, if I want to remove 3 on the left hand side, I must add its inverse, which is negative 3. But don't forget, a scale must balance. So what is done to the left hand side, the same must be done to the right hand side. So if I subtract a 3 from the left hand side, I must also subtract a 3 from the right hand side. So there you are. The 3 is cancelled on the left hand side, only 2x left, and 90 minus 3 is 16. Then I can divide both sides by 2. Divide 2x by 2 and 16 by 2, and there you are. x equals to 8. You can always test this answer. Let's, let's, let's substitute x with 8. So 2 times x is 2 times 8, which is 16, plus 3 is 19. Let's look at the number 2 solve for b. 5b plus 7 plus 5 equals to 10. So I want to get rid of 5 from both sides, so I subtract 5. So you get... 5 cancels and 10 minus 5 is 5. Then you can either cross multiply if you want to, or you can multiply both sides by 7. Right, if you multiply the left hand side by 7, 7 cancels, you're left with 5b, and 5 times 7 is 35. Then divide both sides by 5, and therefore b equals to 7. Let's look at number 3, solve for x. Now we have an equation with brackets, so we first have to remove the brackets, or alternatively, you can divide both sides by negative 2. You can choose. So, but here I multiply by negative 2 times 5x is negative 10x. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Then I add a 6 on both sides so that the 6 can cancel on the left hand side. Then I get minus 10x equals to minus 8x. Then I can add 8x to both sides because I want to remove 8x on the right hand side. So then the 8x's will cancel on the right hand side and I have minus 10x plus 8x equals to 0. So therefore negative 2x is 0. So therefore x equals to 0. You can always test this answer. Then number 4, Muhammad is 3 times as old as his son Tariq. Together they are 35 years old. How old are they? So what we do is we let Tariq's age be x. Then Muhammad will be 3x. Remember, Muhammad is three times as old as his son. And then together they're 35. So there you are, 3x, which is Muhammad's age, plus x, which is Tariq's age. Together they're 35. So therefore, 4x is 35. Divide by both sides by 4. And therefore, x is 8,75. So how old are they? So there you are, Tariq is 8,75. And the father will be three times 8,75. Right, this is Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with M's. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.